Ever since I was a kid, I had this fascination for what was around the next bend. I'd be sitting in the back seat and curious where the road led. We would always turn off to the grocery store, pick my brother up from school or whatever, but as a kid, I just wanted to keep going. And so adventure to me is continuing to explore around the next bend, finding the end of the road. My name is Quinn Schrock. I'm an adventure photographer. We are in Southwest Colorado in the San Juan Mountains. We are testing the new Polaris Expedition. Super stoked to see what they've done. I love the idea of combining the most capable vehicle out on the market with a comfortable living setup. My name is Easton Isley. I own Draco UTV. Really, we build custom vehicles, specifically Polaris vehicles. Polaris Expedition, perfect platform to take this thing up in the mountains, take it with your family, but we want to take it a step farther and get it so you can stay the night in it. So pretty excited to get Quinn's reaction for this. We know he has a Sprinter van. Really, that's where we got a lot of inspiration for this build. It's the Van Life Draco build. Overall goal is to do something that has all those comforts, all the inside fold outs, all that stuff, all the accessories, but not overdo it. We want it nice and clean to where it actually looks like a Sprinter Van Life build. Look at that. What you think? Ooh, it looks like it's gonna take me places, huh? Finally got her finished up and out into the wild. I mean, first thing you see is that paint. We took all the plastics off, painted the whole thing. Really sweet when it gets in the sun too. There's a lot of metallic that comes out of it. The next thing that you see is kind of the stance of it. It's, it's wild, uh, 35 inch EFX tires, KMC bead locks, and 72 inch wide HCR long travel suspension. That's like, brings it to the next level for sure. That looks good. Um, has two flex eras from KC lights, and then that Pro 6 up top, they'll light up that mountain over there. And then it's all mounted on our Draco UTV rack. So the okay. great part about this rack is it's fully set up to put a bunch of accessories. Attach your own things on the top exactly. like that. It's just a, a flat surface. Yep. Uh -huh. So lock it into place. And then cool part of this guy is it actually tightens up. Yeah, you're not tripping over your leg all the time here. There is a shower up there. You can pressurize it so it does have pressurized water. Have a, a hose that just attaches right yep, here? Exactly. Nice. Moving over, Pro Eagle jacks. Pretty slick to have. That's an off-road jack. It will lift this thing completely off the ground at full droop. Jumping over to the storage box. There's a lot more storage in there than I thought. Yeah. This interior is nice too, huh? Yeah. Really love the color. It really accents the green. It's fairly subtle on the outside, but once you jump into the interior, this leather color really That's matches custom. it. That's custom. You got a kitchen in here? Yes, sir. Ooh, slide out, huh? Yeah, so obviously fridge on top. This slide out's your sink, cutting board. So sick. Little storage area under there. Yeah. And then uh, our water system sits right here, so it pumps into the sink. Oh, yeah. wow, the whole thing pulls out. Yeah, so okay. that's where you can put your stove, uh, get set up, and really can deck it out for whatever you're using it for for that day, so. Oh, that's a super cool use of space. What are you using to uh, power the fridge? It's actually hooked up to the Goal Zero power pack, and then that's hooked up to our uh, solar setup. Oh, so yeah, see the Goal Zero battery in there? Definitely get you out for a weekend and have everything just set up, not have to worry about keeping things charged. Oh, that's the full bed. Oh, yeah, it's bigger than expected. Yeah, yeah, that's when we built it. I was a little <sighs> concerned about uh, the spacing, and yeah, it worked out pretty well. That's nice, man. Van life living. <laughs> yeah. For sure. I like these logos. Yeah, another uh, favorite feature of this thing is kind of a secret that we're going to keep to ourselves because we love it so much. Depending on where you stand, they can completely disappear, go to another angle, and there's a logo there. So kind of cool, real subtle. Makes it's like it a paint tough. match, huh? Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's a clear, but it's not just a clear wrap. It's something else. I'm excited to get this thing out on the trail. Yeah, let's uh, get let's you out there. Climbing the mountain today in the Polaris Expedition, that was pretty amazing. It tackled every obstacle without even hesitation. Got up over 12,000 feet, reached an amazing little lake that I've never able to access before.
Now, I've been here so many times, but I've never had a vehicle capable enough to get me down every trail. With this, it just unlocks so much potential for new shots, new exploration, opens up so many different opportunities for my photography. And what I love to do as an adventure photographer is show people what is out there, open people's eyes to the beauty around us.